The airline industry was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, but now that flights are back in the air, airlines are faced with another issue, staffing shortages. I talked with Purdue Aviation about what they're doing to help fill the gap. The airline industry has been a hot topic of discussion over the course of the pandemic, from flight cancellations to angry passengers. <laughs> Airlines have had a hard time getting off the ground. There's been more and more uh, passion and tension about this with crew cancellations that have been in the uh, papers recently than there have been in years. But now the industry is faced with a new challenge, a shortage of pilots and maintenance technicians. The retirement numbers had been um, predicted. Some of the air carriers were suggesting that, you know, 50% of their seniority roster was going to retire in the next five to 10 years. So those numbers were known. Several different factors, including the pandemic, have created the shortage, so much so that pilots are going to be needed sooner rather than later. What's happened now is that in addition to the planned retirements was the accelerated early retirements because of the early buyouts and the layoffs and the COVID type issues. Purdue University is one of the only colleges in the country that has state-of-the-art flight simulation technology that can prepare future pilots to be in the air. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't and after experiencing it firsthand, I can tell you the technology is extremely realistic. Like your whole body feels like you're moving. Yeah, yeah, and opportunities like this are what Purdue University is hoping will get more students interested in the field of aviation. A lot of uh, programs have the primary flight instruction, which is the private commercial instrument, multi-engine and single-engine airplanes. We're one of the few schools that have this level of technology that prepares them for, for the next step in the uh, airline industry. But that's not all the university is doing. In April next year, the university will unite the aviation community with a three-day symposium. During that time, industry leaders will identify key issues the field is facing and come up with a game plan to create a sufficient pool of qualified applicants. We can work together as, as a collective in the industry with the manufacturing and the, and the airlines and the government to kind of put together a program that will encourage people to come in and let them know that it's affordable and I think that we will be able to solve this issue. And through those partnerships, the university hopes they can encourage more students to take flight. But there's shortages in the mechanic side, there's, there's shortages on the flight attendant side, there's shortages in the um, ground ops, customer service, I mean, so there, there's, there's opportunities throughout the industry, even if you're not one of the pilots groups, but they're just one of the, one of the groups that are in, uh, in demand. According to a recent study done by Boeing, in the short term, 30 to 40,000 pilots will need to join the aviation industry in the next five years.